So this one is from Scott Needham again over at uh, Smart Scout, putting out some good data again. Mm -hmm. Web traffic for Jungle Scout in Helium 10 drops by 50%. Is interest in Amazon FBA waning? Uh, so Scott Needham reports that web traffic for Jungle Scout and Helium 10 key Amazon seller tools has decreased by 50%, hinting at a possible decline in new Amazon sellers entering the market. This may signal the end of the get rich quick phase as fewer new sellers flock to Amazon FBA. However, the industry remains strong with Amazon's marketplace revenue growing by 10 to 20% over the same period, primarily driven by large established sellers. Needham suggests that the trend is market-driven rather than performance-based as these tools are heavily dependent on the influx of new sellers. So, uh, Vanessa, let's get your initial thoughts on that one. Is uh, the Amazon on the decline, at least new sellers? Yeah, that makes sense on, on, the, set, on the part where these get-rich schemes, especially dropshipping, Right. And it's yeah. so funny because sure. every time I go out to the world, not in the e-commerce industry and, you know, people ask me, oh, what do you do? And I say like, yeah, Amazon, I have an agency, whatever. They're like, oh, drop shipping uh, really? uh, or, or automation. <laughs> Everybody and thinks I'm like, drop shipping. dude, yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, so I start lecture them right now. I don't really care, but at the beginning, I always, I always got mad. I'm like, no, that's not what we do. Like we're serious people. Uh -huh. So in that sense, I believe because of those business models are basically non-existent anymore. Probably that's why less, uh, there is less people talking about it, which used to drive that traffic meaning if you don't have the bros driving a lamborghini saying like you can have this in three months if they're they don't make that content anymore there that's the reason why the traffic of new people it's not there anymore the other thing in a more technical way i know that since the release of chat gpt yeah. the amount of search uh that has decline on google it's been like very dramatic so people are now talking to chat gpt asking for things that are like hey i want to start a side hustle what should i do and chat gpt or whatever ai they use is the one that will prompt certain options so this is where here the the screenshot that he has in the post it's with you know google trends so we're talking only about google search but we know across the board that Google search is down because of AI. For sure. So That's a good point. To me, yep. it makes like, okay, yeah, I do think the get rich scheme is not as strong anymore. But also we need to understand that because of AI, this is also declining. And for everybody, it's not necessarily for keywords that are related to Amazon. I mean, I do think that the industry the Amazon ecosystem is getting more professionalized. Agreed. So the little guys that are just thinking about a side hustle are probably not going to be a good fit for what we are against with right now. The, the They're finding it's not profitable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the amount of complexity in the past, you didn't need to know tariff and AI and listings and PPC data and analytics on audiences and conversion. And, you yep. know, there are so many things before it's just like, let me put something, let me, let me do that arbitrage. That that's another part that I've been thinking a lot about because I'm kind of obsessed with uh, AI optimization is it was easier. And, and this is okay. This is the idea. In the past, we were just obsessed about search, right? Mm -hmm. Let me find the gaps in search where there is a lot of demand and very little offer. So I'll go there. That's how we build the business. That's it's stable. Like there is a lot of offers for a lot of things. Right now, it's shifting to a more audience base, which is the same model that we have in D2C, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because of that, people are not really building or launching products for the gap, the arbitrage in the offer and the demand. They're building brands to fulfill a desire on a specific audience. So that's and those a are the people that are growing. Game. Yeah, and that's a completely different game. So mm -hmm. 
yeah, probably things like Jungle Scout and Helium 10 won't do well if they don't adapt to understanding audiences rather than the hyper focus on keywords. Yeah, I don't know if this is it may be a contributing factor, but I think it was re quite recent. Amazon also made it so that you can no longer create bundles that are not authorized by the uh, by the manufacturer. So you can't take Dawn dish soap and sell your own brush with it, for instance. So that right. also is going to affect quite a few people because that that was their niche in the arbitrage world and even the wholesale world is they would bundle with other products and that that's. I'm sure there's still plenty of that going on, but that's also being stripped away. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. You have to have, uh, you're supposed to have permission from the brand to do it now and have a UPC from the brand and have it listed under the brand's name and all the products should be from that same brand. Yep. For yep. me, the, the interesting takeaway here is I think the private label small seller dream is definitely getting crushed out the amount of capital required to stand up a brand is now i'd say double than what it was say in the golden age when you know all these um influencer bros as you said were pumping out content about the lambos and getting rich quick that's yeah. all gone away and like as we look at you know we're moving into late stage capitalism with amazon where every single point of the supply chain is now being optimized and if you're not working within that optimized supply chain of Amazon, they're nickel and diming you the entire to death. step of the way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. And that's inventory placement fees, low inventory fees, high inventory fees, yep. you name it, they're hitting you with the fees. And then, you know, from the ad side of things, it's just become such a competitive ecosystem. The amount of capital that you need that you don't even a lot of small sellers don't understand like if you go out there with a small private label private label product and you don't have a proper ad budget you don't know ppc you're not going to get any exposure and you're just going to get wiped sure. out very very quickly because you're going to lose all your money on ads yep. and i've had multiple friends over the years come up to me and be like neil you know i know you're in the amazon space i'm thinking about starting an amazon product you know what do you think and i'll sit down with them and i'll you know i have built some pretty elaborate spreadsheets and cash, cash flow forecasting. And as soon as I show them the true numbers, they're like, I'm not into this for $6,000. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to go, you know, buy stuff off Facebook marketplace and flip it that way. And I'll make, yeah, <laughs> because you showed them they needed 30 to 50 K, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. The, the ad budget is the number one thing that's missed. Yeah. 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 With that said, you know, I don't think the days of, Flipping products on Amazon, you know, retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, those days are definitely not gone. Agreed. Um, it's getting harder because there's more places that are gated and things like that. So it's going to be a harder search. But at the same time, what I like to point out to people, yeah, so Helium 10 and Jungle Scout went down by 50%. And another interesting stat I've seen is that Google's search uh, market share decreased by 5% in the same time period. So that may have a little bit to do with it. But the less competition, the more opportunity for the people who are able to actually get over the hurdles that have been put in place. Mm -hmm. So the people that actually go into it with the thought of building a real business and getting past those hurdles and getting to success once you get inside the walled garden so to speak there could potentially be a lot more opportunity for those people yep mm -hmm.